and I had just graduated with my bachelor's degree in English literature. Hi everyone, welcome to episode two of A Latte Words, where we sip some coffee and talk about words. I'm Sarah and I consume way too much caffeine and write speculative fiction with the hopes of being traditionally published. I post new videos every Monday, so make sure to smack that subscribe button below and check the description for a link to my mailing list. So today I wanted to talk to you about my very first adult book, basically the first book that I ever wrote as an adult. And I actually dropped a link to the blog post that I made of this, so if you'd rather read this than watch, you can go ahead and click below. But a warning, you won't get the full A Latte Words experience if you're just reading. So I should probably start from the beginning. As a kid, I wrote a ton of stories. I filled up notebooks with so many characters and plots and crazy things happening. Like once I wrote a whole notebook worth of diary entries from a girl who was experiencing life during the English bubonic plague. <laughs> so graduating college, it just seemed like a natural progression to go into writing an actual adult level published professional book, however you want to call it. Basically, I thought I was guaranteed a publisher based on the fact that I had a bachelor's degree. And I mean, the confidence is great, and I definitely think that that's important, especially when you're trying to break into the industry, but I was definitely overly confident, and I think the confidence wasn't true. I think it was more of a pressure that I put on myself. I think it was also because I graduated in 2010, so it was right in that middle of the economic crisis and so many graduates were having trouble finding work, including myself. And I felt this pressure to be successful in something. And while I loved getting free chocolate at the candy store that I worked at, it wasn't exactly my first career choice, so maybe I should have been a barista instead. Nah, the chocolate was too good. So anyway, my expectations for my first book were way too high. 15,000 words into my zero draft, I thought I was on track to becoming the next JK Rowling or something. Except without the questionable moral compass. The problem was that this book was pretty much crap. It was kind of like plopping Anthony Bourdain into the middle of the Desperate Housewives of Beverly Hills. Desperate Housewives? Real Housewives? Whatever. Actually, that would be really fun to watch. Okay, so I wanted to list a few other mistakes that I made in case there are any newer writers watching this and maybe you can learn from me, I guess. I don't know. You probably already know this stuff anyway. So the first mistake that I made was that I didn't outline. And I know this is kind of a tricky topic because some people are pantsers and some people are plotters or somewhere in between. But for me personally, I needed an outline, especially for my first real book, because I didn't know where it was going to end. I just started writing and that was great in some ways. And I definitely encourage people to just start writing, like don't be afraid. But in terms of creating something that would actually be publishable, it made things so much more difficult not at least having a rough outline. And this is just for me personally. I'm sure there's so many pantsers out there who do wonderfully with this kind of thing, but that was not the case for me. And number two was that my message wasn't clear. So I had this vision of trying to enlighten people spiritually or something. That's really all I had. I believe so much in the importance of having a theme that you kind of stick to from the beginning to the end and using your characters to explore that theme and that idea. And I think a message is especially important for readers who are looking for something to take with them for their own life and kind of translate into their own way of being. Don't know if that makes sense. Number three. My protagonist was so boring. Like she was the most basic 
Um, is it what? Mary Sue? Is that what it's called? When a protagonist is just so boring, so bland, she had no personality and somehow she was this chosen character. You know where I'm going with this. I was like not even a big fan of her myself as I was writing her. That should have been my first warning that I didn't really like her. I actually fell in love with the supporting character. He had this amazing personality. He was really unique. And that should have been my warning that if the side character was drawing me in more than the protagonist, then either I needed to fix the protagonist or maybe reconsider who my protagonist is. Number four. This kind of goes back to what I was talking about at the beginning. I expected too much, mostly of myself, in terms of thinking that I had certain abilities that just come through a lot of experience and time writing and also knowledge of the industry. And also I felt like I needed to be published to feel like I was a legitimate writer. I put this pressure on myself and it made me feel anxious and that anxiety definitely showed, especially when I would go to writers conventions and meet with literary agents and try to pitch my work and I just didn't have the confidence to do a pitch. And number five, I refused to let go. I think with this first book, because of all of the other mistakes that I made, like the outlining, the protagonist, it just, it wasn't fixable. I went to professional editors, I had beta readers, I had critique partners, everything you can imagine. All this feedback to try to help get this book on track. And it just wasn't working. And no matter how many agents, I think I sent out at least a hundred literary agents and I got a few requests for the full manuscript, which was great, but it never got past that. And I think honestly, it just wasn't meant to be. So I think even though I really made a bunch of mistakes on this book, I still really enjoyed the process. I think those first months, of writing were some of the best memories that I've had because I felt all this hope and excitement and it was the first time truly discovering what it was like to plot and create a story in such a vivid way where I felt like there was an end goal because as a kid it was just more for fun and I didn't think anything of it and I didn't have the same I guess brain power that I would as an adult. So it was really exciting and I think the only thing I would really change is that I beat myself up and I stuck with it for much longer than I should have. The writing itself was great. I learned a lot, I really honed my craft, but beating yourself up if a book doesn't work is not the way to go, obviously. Anyway, how do you feel about your first books. Were they a train wreck like mine or did you immediately get published and now you're a best-selling author and for some reason you're watching me? Or are you in the process of starting your first book right now? I hope I didn't scare you. So if you've watched this far, that probably means you don't absolutely hate me or my videos. So if that's the case, make sure to subscribe below. You know you want to. Thank you for watching A Latte Words. Bye!